Dear Flabby and Flabby, I'm having a hard time sleeping because my next door neighbor keeps jacking off so loudly in the middle of the night. He lives in an apartment next to mine, and every night when I go to bed, I can hear him beating his meat like it owes him money. He is moaning really loud, and the sound of jerking off isn't quiet either. Problem here is that even if I wait for him to drain his balls, he does it three more times during the night, with each time being as loud as the previous one. I tried knocking on the wall, but he just moans and screams, yes, hit me harder. I'm afraid of knocking on his door to tell him he's being loud, what I'm, but I'm afraid he will just pull me inside his apartment and start u- using me as a sex slave. Also, his dad owns the building, so he's not getting kicked out. What should I do? So when's the last time you like moaned and made all kinds of noise while you were jacking off? This morning. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I, 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 I don't have a comeback for that. I was not expecting that. <laughs> it's usually a pretty quiet process, I thought, you know, for your, for yourself. I thought the noises were just for everybody else's benefit. <laughs> then you're not doing it right. <laughs> I think you're right. <laughs> All right. Let me ask you this. How many fingers do you normally have in your butt? Just the one. Yeah. Then just, you're not doing the, it right. Just the pinky. <laughs> Anything else is gay. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so what what can he do to get his neighbor to stop either either tone it down mm-hmm. or stop altogether? So maybe okay, we can we can approach this like uh, what do you call it diplomatically or whatever. Maybe his neighbor doesn't realize. Now y- you just type up a nice letter that says, "Excuse me, sir, but I can hear you masturbating at night" or something to that effect. Maybe he doesn't realize it. Maybe a nice firm, strongly worded letter will help him understand that he's making too much noise while he masturbates. Yeah. There, there's. So I've lived in some shitty apartments mm-hmm. and you know, when the walls are thin because so when your neighbor watches TV, you're now listening to TV. Ugh, that would suck. So this guy knows, I mean, as soon as you cough, you know that they can hear you cough. Ah, okay. So he he knows that if he's moaning when he's jerking off, he knows that people can hear it. And gotcha. and he's probably getting off on that. Oh. I mean, not that I would I know anything about this. <laughs> so maybe the answer is to when he's moaning and jacking off, maybe the answer is for you to moan and jack off louder. No, because no. he likes it. What the fuck? Because he because he might be in. <laughs> maybe you should go over there and jerk it off for him. <laughs> That was my next suggestion. But <laughs> if you know, if you got to if you got to work early in the morning and he's taking too long, just go help him out, finish it off for him. All right, so what about flooding his apartment? <laughs> <laughs> like, like with a hose or something? <laughs> just, yeah. just flood flooding him out. What? How would that stop him from jacking off? It would get him to move. We're, we're looking, we're, we're trying to figure out how can we help this guy get a good night's sleep? Hmm. I don't want to recommend he wears earplugs. No, that's too easy. So there's got to be a way to tamper with the wiring in his house so that he electrocutes himself to death. Let's just think of different ways that he can murder his neighbor without getting in trouble. <laughs> what if every time that the guy jerks off, mm-hmm. This guy calls the police Mm -hmm. and says that he thinks somebody's being hurt. (laughs) That would be awesome. (laughs) You call the police anonymously so that they don't know it's you. And every time this guy jerks off, the police show up. (laughs) That would be great. Right. So I I, I think this is the solution. If you call as Mm -hmm. soon as like, if I want you to start, whoever wrote this, Mm -hmm. I want you to start keeping a logbook. And I want to know, I want you to keep track of when this guy typically jerks off. Mm-hmm. So if he jerks off, say between nine and nine 30 every night, right at nine o'clock or, or 10 till you call the cops, call the cops, even before it starts and say, I think somebody's being hurt. Yep. So then they come over to that apartment. Hopefully at the same time he's, he's hitting his crescendo. That would be awesome. <laughs> and then they bust in the door and shoot him. <laughs> I, I wasn't even thinking that I would just think they would, the, the police would knock on his door and basically interrupt him. Right. And then after a while he would get tired of being interrupted and 
Ah, fuck. Why would he stop, though? Like, unless they do what you're saying, unless they shoot him, why would the, why would he stop? So yeah, okay, he's so, going to shoot him. Yeah, I'm, so when I, when I first thought of it, my thought was he would get tired of the cops coming, and then I just yeah. thought it'd be funnier if they shot him. <laughs> but do you think that the cops would continue to come? Like, if they come there once, mm-hmm. and they knock on the door, and they say, we, we heard what was going on in there, we need to come in and tap. We, we need to have a look around, make sure nobody's being held against their will. Yeah. And then it's just gay porn or whatever the fuck he was looking <laughs> at. They, they would say, I'm sorry for interrupting you. Please keep it down. Mm-hmm. Would they come back again the next night when there's another, a similar call? I think they would two nights in a row, but maybe not after that. Maybe. So maybe this is this guy's way of getting it set up to where he can actually kill somebody like maybe he's just waiting for the cops to come a couple times yes, and then the he's going to kill somebody. Yes. The fourth night, fifth night, whatever he kills somebody and then nobody's coming. So the fifth night, this guy has to kick in the door and save the girl. That's my recommendation. <laughs> I like it.